Hey, what's going on everyone? No Zoop for you here, and I have an unboxing video for you. World of Warships was kind enough to give me 22 French containers. And these containers are the second part of the French event. These containers are going to come with things like your French tokens, which are very important, and I'll get to the reason why here in a second. Also, you've got another collection that you can finish off. The important thing about this collection is, once you finish it, you get to add an additional flag to your destroyers, and your cruisers, and your battleships. Yeah, I know, that's awesome. What everyone wants, right? You want a second flag to show off. So you can see right now in these crates, they're pretty much the same across the board. You're not going to get much different in them. You get your 120 French tokens, you get your 15 signal flags, and these are the special signal flags, the Basilisk, and you've got your Ouroboros and your Hydra, the special ones that make grinding so very easy. If you're lucky, you have the chance in these crates to get one of the missions for a premium ship, being the Degrasse, the Eigel, Gascon, or Le Terrible. Now, you're probably wondering if these crates are worth it, and that's a very subjective thing. I, I really can't tell you if they're worth it, because one person might think they are worth it, and another person might say, I'm not wasting my money on this stuff. The bottom line is, everything you get in these crates is the exact same after every single crate you open. Uh, the only difference being that sometimes you get camouflage instead of the signals. So if this is worth $5 a crate or $3 a crate or whatever it is, it's, it's pretty much the same as it always is because these are premium crates. Um, it's up to you whether it's worth it. The big reason why people might want these is because of the French tokens. And the French tokens are the only way you can get the special French captain. And that French captain is not cheap well over 2,000 tokens, but he's probably the best specialty captain of the game. Mr. Avignon, or Avignon, I, I, I get the name mixed up with the guy from uh, Catch Me If You Can, who was a real person, Avignon. I think that was his name. Anyhow, I digress. That's what these crates are important for. These are kind of a stopgap to get the rest of the French tokens that you're probably not going to be able to get all of through the regular missions going on. Everyone's going to want this captain. This is probably the most, I don't want to say overpowered, but it's probably the best captain we've had come out so far. So, there's a lot of reason to want that captain. It will help your ships out. And you can see right here, here's the collection, uh, Legion of Honor collection. And you can see the second flag right there. And you also get the secondary color scheme. Out of 22 crates, I wound up with a fair amount of duplicates. Although I wasn't really quite able to finish the entire collection off. Uh, that's no biggie. I mean, that's kind of hard to do, even with 22 crates. So I managed to finish one collection off, got that camouflage, the extra camouflage scheme, in addition to the flags. And here's the other mission that I was working on. And you can see right here, I'm going to purchase another one with my duplicates. And that gives me, once again, another camouflage color scheme. So... Yeah, we've had these before. They're no different than any other collection we've had. So none of this should be new to you if you've been playing for a very long time. None of it at all. Now about that captain, though. Let's move on to that captain. And you can see right here, Felipe Avignon, 2,100 tokens. That is not cheap. That's actually very expensive considering what you have to buy to get that. And one crate's 1,250 doubloons. And here he is, Mr. Abignon, Abinau, and I'm going to show you what he gives you. Um, speed and composure. Every 2 million potential damage you receive, your ship speed increases by 8%. Sparks of resistance. You get plus 1% to the probability of setting ships on fire for every capture or assist ribbon. That's significant. And devastating a strike achievement reduces the loading time of your armament every time you get a devastating strike. I, I mean, those are things that normally happen throughout the course of gameplay. It's not like the other things where you got to get a crack in and the stuff that happens at the end of the game. This happens through the normal course of the game, making this commander very, very potent. And I think on destroyers right now and ranked, he's going to do a lot of damage. But he's expensive. 2,100 tokens. That is not cheap. 
That works out to about 20,000 doubloons being spent on crates if you want it. I don't know if it's worth it. That's up to you. I'm just here to show you what you get. Anyhow, guys, thanks for watching. Zoop out.